30 years ago. I don't smoke, so if I look funny with this. <laughs> All right, just, just a couple of little things. I did for years, I smoked the pipe, and I used to fool with this thing, and it, it was quite a, a, a nice little thing. You take a, a pipe, I, I've used a cob, com, corn. cob corn pipe and painted it white so you can see it. And what you do is take the stem, look, take the stem and twist it off. And you disappear. And all this is a little twist. The thumb does it. The thumb is here, and I put my hand in here, the thumb brings it back. Oh, silly, isn't it? <laughs> Just goes right back in there. Play with it. Here's the thing I've been doing for many years. I've shown it to many, many magicians, and I fooled everybody with it. <coughs> and I got it from a kid, and the kid fooled me with it. I have never seen it before. I put it in my notes now. It's a, it's a, it's a simple little thing. A piece of rope, we tie the two ends together with, with a knot. Now, I'm going to put it, I'm going to put my foot on the chair here, and I'm going to hook the rope under my foot. Ah, like that, right? Now I'm going to bring one end over there, underneath, one end over there, underneath, and I'm going to pull it right up through my foot. And you can hand it to somebody else and they can't do it. Simple. I'll do it quickly for you. Put the rope down, step on the rope, go over that end and over that end and come right up through. Because most people, when they try and do it, they try and do it this way. Do you see any difference? Yes. <laughs> It'll never work that way. Yeah. You'll never get that off there. What you do, is put both hands in the same direction. See, I'll be talking to you and I've got it like this. You see my hands this way. But when I start to do the trick, my hands are both going in the same direction. Now, when I come over to do this, I am making a loop under the foot. It's undetectable. And when I come up, that's what I have. Nothing in the middle. Does it make sense? That's also in the notes. Let's talk a little bit about the uh, earth. Here we go. This is another one of my tricks. We call this a little bird on your this chair. A bird bag. And people say, well, what do you do with a bird bag? Well, first of all, I showed that it's empty. There's nothing on the inside and there's nothing on the outside. Absolutely empty. Hold the bird bag in two hands. Wave it back and forth like this. And, oh, we've caught something. We've caught something in the bird bag. It's a bird. I'm going to see what kind of a bird we have. Ha! Would you believe it? Ladies and gentlemen, we have attracted a foo-foo bird to the bag. A little foo-foo bird. Are you familiar with foo-foo birds? Come from the South Pacific. A strange bird, it likes sex life but can't stand the eggs. So it builds an unusual nest. They nest with a hole in the center. <coughs> Show the eggs. <coughs> well, I've got the bird bag here, and I got the bird here, and uh, I'm, I'm going to do something unusual. I'm going to take the bird and put it into my pocket. 
<laughs> Have you ever had a bird in your pocket? Stop. Point. Here's what we're going to do next. We're going to take the bag, push the bag down into the hand. Bird, keep it quiet. Watch what happens. Bag in the hand. Oh, ha! Did you see it go? The bird bag left my hand. The bird is now in my hand. The bag is in my hand. It's a simple thing. We have an extra bag. The extra bag is in the top of the pocket up in here. The bird bag that I showed you originally is now inside the bird. The bird is hollow. The bag is constructed like the egg bag. Do you know what an egg bag is? It has a pocket inside. It's upside down pocket like this. So I got the bird in there and that bird will never come out. I can turn it inside out. You can't see the pocket and you can't see the bird. Now when I want the bird to appear, I turn the bag upside down, which lets the bird come out of the pocket. Before I do that, I get the bird in the corner of the back and I can slap it my back to prove it's empty. The bird is now in the corner. At my will, I release the bird. Now, did you see it drop? It dropped right into the bag, reach in and get it. There is the bird, backwards point. <laughs> did you see that? <laughs> I say I am going to put the bird in my pocket. Now that's a ridiculous thing, isn't it? Put the bird in your pocket. But watch the move. This is a very deceptive move. I'm going to take the bag. The bag is right here. Now watch what happens to the bag. I put the bird in my pocket. <laughs> Withdraw the bird, throw the bag over, and I, I'm, I'm keeping everybody's attention here to where the bird is supposed to be. Actually, I have the bird in my hand. Now, I turn it over and I say, I'm going to be quiet. I'm going to put the bag in my hand. I am now stuffing it into the, into the bird. The bag goes into the bird, make a funny move and turn the bird over. And now we have the bird in the hand. The bag is there. And I say, look, the bag is in my pocket. That's called the bird bag. Are there any questions on that? We're going to sell that. Uh, in fact, uh, George Kimmery made up a bunch of them. <coughs> He's selling them at his uh, counter out there. They're $15. And he made a beautiful uh, like made a beautiful bag and a beautiful bird. I don't know if he's got a poo-poo bird or not. Uh, looks like a male. Yeah, we'll be selling those. Here's a cute idea for you guys who want to do some advertising for Christmas. Everybody uh, blows up those balloons, you know. And uh, many years ago, I got this idea from uh, Jay out there in uh, Chicago. He said, uh, get an envelope that you can see through the uh, window envelopes, stick in maybe six or seven of those balloons, let them show through, and to sell them to the kids at your show. Get a dollar for them. <laughs> Which is a great idea. <laughs> I did it for years. A lot of times I would just give them to the kids for helping me, you know. I have your name and address on the back. But what I have done today, I have bought some of the, uh, some of the envelopes. No balloons, just the envelopes. And I put five in a package for a dollar so you can take them to your printer and you can duplicate them. It has all the instructions on how to make the balloon animals. And with the balloons in there, it makes a nice little gift to kids, and it's printed on their dollar. Kids getting a dollar thing. But today it costs almost a dollar to put the balloons in. But it's a good giveaway. We'll have some of those. I used to do a, a Chinese pipe. 
type of simplex. Do you remember? It's, it's a good trick, and I like it. But when you're doing kiddie shows, you know, and today especially, well, you have dope pipe that he's smoking dope for a kiddie show, you know. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. It's, yeah, yeah. So I came up with another. For kiddie shows, instead of doing that, I, I have a balloon, uh, a horn. It's the same thing. It's a fake top and a fake bottom, and the, here's a... Uh, Paper. And I'll, you, I'll show it to you. I've uh, glued a couple pieces of paper together here. shells and then you roll them and uh, it's great for the kids instead of smoking a pipe flying <laughs> off stage <laughs> uh, I like to do a bead trick many years uh, I've uh, done this little thing and it, it's simple somebody years ago put out uh, a gimmick for, for doing the beads uh, where you cut them at the bottom and they had a little brass gimmick and you used to have to take the wine the thread around and put it into the, the, the gimmick and then when you cut it sometimes the gimmick wouldn't work and you have to give it the anchor too you know so here's a simple way of doing that here are the beads string of beads i'm going to cut off the end bead and drop them into the glass thread I'm going to take and wind around my finger and after winding the thread around my finger I'm going to place it into my mouth the thread that is not the finger the thread goes into the mouth <laughs> ladies and gentlemen here now is a bead cocktail about 50 beads, cut them off, buy them at a 5 and 10 or someplace, and cut them off, they're originally threads. And then you have to uh, take uh, some of this thread and sew the beads. Each bead, you go through it once, come back and go through it twice. So each bead is looped. And it makes a string like this. This is your working setup here. Now, when I'm going to do the trick, I take a piece of uh, carpet thread, something that can be seen, a good thick thread, thread it on a needle and I just push it straight through there. Right there. Leave a knot at one end so it won't come out and something for me to grab. And then when I cut it into the glass, I just fake the cut and drop, hold the thread, drop the beads, and I've got the thread now. The beads are still in there, but they're still threaded. Thank <laughs> you. 
I put that in my notes. I thought it was cute. I've used it for years and years and years. It's a great little thing, especially for the ladies. They say, ah, we put it in his mouth. <laughs> Al, I'd like to just interrupt you for a moment. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, you're probably all looking at your watches. We're pretty good on time. Okay, however, Al did go a little late, and I know he's great. <laughs> We've done all day. Uh, if it's okay with Al, yeah. can we do about another 10, 15 minutes, 10, 10 minutes Al? That was and then we're going to sell them the goodies, the yeah. pastries and such, and then we'll I wrap around 3.30 and start our auction. Good. Our auction is not as healthy as it usually is, uh, but there'll be plenty of time for auction to eat and everything else. Okay, so back to Al. Oh, hey. Here's, uh, for kid shows, <coughs> for kid shows, this is great. If you want to play with it, I haven't played too much with it, but uh, uh, it's something I always wanted to do but never did. I have a bag sitting on the, on the stage somewhere, and uh, sometime during the, uh, the show I would say, uh, oh, look, there's a bag up here. Does it belong to anybody? And six kids would say, yeah, it's mine, it's mine. You know, you say, nah, what's in it? Let's see what's in it. Oh, what a surprise. It's green. And it's got big eyes. I wonder what it is. It's me, it's me, I'm Froggy. I am Froggy. And then you do the uh, ventriloquist routine. I'm not a man. <laughs> but you know, all the silly little things you do. Pick out a card, touch a kid. Uh, but what I'm trying to show you here is the simple way of doing it is by just getting a piece of wood, putting it inside the bag so you have complete control of the bag. The frog can come on doing you. The bag is always uh, nice and uh, firm. And open. Give me a kiss. Come on. Who kisses a frog? Hey, that's his cue. And it's, it's got a hole in the back. Just stick your hand in. But here's the control, you see. The control is in the piece of wood. Right? My paper trick. Egg in the paper. My trick for many years. 1937, I think I put this thing together. It's been everybody has put it out in different versions. One guy says then put an egg and he puts water in. My trick for the water and the egg. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. One guy put a zipper on the top of it. Then he zips it up. Oh, you, you don't zip up a paper, put an egg in and zip it and say it's gone. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. <laughs> Let me show it to you, then I'll try to explain it a little bit. Uh, well, first of all, let's get the egg. <coughs> it's a right or right, I want to prove it. Yeah. Boy, that's a right or right. And the piece of paper. Show both sides, because we don't want to fool you. Piece of paper, real egg, and I'm going to fold the paper into a paper cone. I'm going to make a nice paper cone there. I'm going to make it tight at the bottom, and I'm going to leave the top open, like that. And I'm going to take the egg, and I'm going to put the egg right down in the middle of the paper. I'm going to twist it a little bit so it doesn't come out. All right, egg will go into the paper. Watch. Make sure I put the egg in the paper. Did it go in? <laughs> it did. What a mess. What do I do now? All right. We're keeping it nice and tight here so we don't spill it. All I do is say the magic words. Be gone and look. Nice and funny. Are you familiar with it? Some of you are. That's my picture many years ago. Uh, the egg is still on paper, of course. It's in this side here. And this side is double. And on the inside, I have a plastic bag. Right in there. Now, when I fold the paper, let me see if 
Thank you, sure. All we sure of doing is going to keep the paper upright. <laughs> sheet of paper, full sheet of paper, fold it in half, fold it in half, run some glue up along the seam here, and glue a plastic bag to this side of the paper. You see that I've outlined it in green so you can see it. Then you put the two pieces of paper here together, leave the top open, but run some glue down here and across the bottom. Now, you've got to have a full sheet of paper to do it, so what you do is take another half sheet, another half sheet from another piece, See, that's not a full sheet of paper, no, it's just a half, and I'm going to glue this to there, make it a full sheet of paper. Right? When you, when you fold the paper, fold it in thirds. Because it makes it much easier to, uh, to make a cone when it's, when it's folded like that. Just take it and, and bend it and bring it over and you've got yourself a cone. And the, the plastic will be right there. You just open it with the fingernail. This is a little stiff. Open it with the fingernail, and that's where you put the egg. Right in that hole, right in there. See that opening there? It goes right in there. Then when I open the paper like this, it closes at the top. The egg is in there. I can tear the other piece of paper off, so it gives me, uh, which is, is a nice looking thing. When I tear it, then you understand there were two pieces of paper like that. Egg is always on the left. <laughs> I've described this in the notes too. Uh, but there are any questions anybody wants to? No? no. no. All right, Carl, I think uh, I'll do the. Let me see it. I was going to do a. Oh, a cute. A quickie, a little thing. Uh, it's new. I've shown this to a lot of people. There. Uh, Instead of doing a big rope length around the wrist and all that, a small piece of rope with two knots at the end, and look what you can do with it. Take it and loop it over the hand. It's in there. It is round the thumb. Shorten one end like this, pick it up, grab the other one, and pull right down through. It doesn't make sense, does it? Again, it's, it's a quick look. Round there like that. Pick this up and go down and come right up. <laughs> no, is it? It's a twist. It's a twist. Yeah. Yeah. You see, when I when I do it one way, let's see which way will it? No, it's on now. Yeah. If I come over like that and, and grab it that way and, and bring it over my thumb, it's going to be there. Nothing is going to take that. That's on. Because I I did it this way. You see. Now, if I bring it up and loop it over this way, the difference between this and this, this, it won't stay. And the, making it short is because when you pull it like that, it really, it's really hooked in there. And I could pull it off, but uh, it would take a while. If I do this and I loosen one end, it brings it off easier without tugging. Does it make sense? Yeah. Huh? Oh. Oh, let me do the cane for you. Let me do the cane. Uh, hey, the cane. Huh? All right, you're the old vanishing cane. Uh, I'm going to... You're familiar with the cane? You have to steal the top. You know that. You have to